What up, y'all? It's your boy Rick, aka the People's Barber. Welcome to another edition of Flawless Fridays. Today, we're going to be going over a regular gentleman's haircut side part. The tools I'm going to be using today are going to be my wall cordless sterling fours, my wall detailers, my wall shaper shaver. We may go into using the cordless magic clips. And to finalize the cut, we're gonna be using the flawless exposed straight razor. Let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start using my cordless sterling fours with my number four guard, closed lever. Making sure to keep the guard on the scalp the entire time. As I get to the area where I'd like my blend to start, I do a small C-like motion to make sure I don't leave a hard line in the hair. Okay, now that we have the guide complete around the circumference of the head, what I want to do now is the outline. This is just a method that I use and seems to work best. So I'm going to use my wall detailers to create the outline of the haircut and then start the blend. Going around the ear, I use just the corner of my TY blade. Using the opposite corner to get the front part of the ear hairline. So the same steps and methods you use for this side, you do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Now we'll begin the blend before up into the hair on top. Still using my number four guard, but opening up that lever. Keeping in section one, small C-like motions like so. Now closing that lever back to a four, continuing the blend. Now for areas right here, to get it a little nicer clean blend, what I do is go with the growth of the hair. Yes, even on straight hair. The four doesn't seem to be cutting much, so what I'll do is I'll switch over to my number three guard, open that lever, and continue the same method. Now closing it. This will help soften any hard lines and make the blend more precise. Now to soften this area right here, what I'll do is put a number two guard on, close my lever and clipper over comb that area. Making sure my comb is at a 90 degree angle, not parallel to the ground. 90 degrees, parallel. We don't want it to be parallel. I like the way this blended came out. So now we'll continue the same methods on section two. Okay, so section two, I wanna show you guys a little different method. Instead of going with the guards to get the blend, we'll continue the blend with just straight clipper over comb. Still with my number two guard on, closed lever, using my wall comb at a 90 degree angle, to get this blend nice and precise. This method is called clipper over comb.
Now that we have this blend nice and precise, I want to continue the same clipper over comb method in section three. Now that we have the blend complete around the head, I want to trim the top. Getting it lightly damped, not soaking wet, but getting it to where we'll be able to maneuver it a little more. Now that I have that complete, I'm going to show you guys a technique that's rarely used. I don't use shears when I cut hair. I use clippers for everything. So I'll be continuing to use my Wall Sterling 4 cordless clippers to trim the top of the hair. With them on and my lever closed, I'll turn them upside down facing me. In case I accidentally get too close, I make sure not to cut into the hair. With my other fingers, I grab the comb, just like you would with shears and a comb. Now we'll be trimming the top of the hair. Grabbing my guide, using just the corner of my blade, coming around, once I pass that second knuckle, I then turn the clipper towards me, getting the, the cut nice and even. I'm gonna bring that guide all the way back. Why do I use clippers and shears? I don't like cutting my fingers. <laughs> Continuing the same method all the way through. Now that we have the top complete, what I'm gonna do is line up the front area and then taper the nape area. Using my wall detailers to get the corners nice and clean and then arching the sideburns. Turning my detailer sideways to get the corner a nice clean finish. Now that I have the corner complete, I want to arch the sideburn, but still keeping it real natural. Using just the corner of my blade. Now I want to do the same motion on the opposite side. Now arch in the corner. Now let's get to the nape. Now I'm gonna use the wall cordless berets to get this line nice and clean. Starting in the center, then working to the left, and then the right. Making sure to keep it as even as possible. Now I'll be using the wall shaper shaver to get detailed outline of my hairline. Taking the razor just to the hairline. Now I'm gonna be using some shave gel to prep my front hairline. And then the flawless exposed razor to get the detail and make it as smooth as possible. Stretching the skin to get it a smooth finish look. Doing the exact same motion on the opposite side. Now to finish off the haircut, I'm going to be using my Flawless Pomade. This 
Salmaid is water-based, so it's great for children and adults. No alcohol, so it won't mess up your client's hair. Just rubbing it in nice and even, and then gonna get my comb to style it. And this wraps up this week's Flawless Friday, the regular gentleman's haircut. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow your boy on Instagram at The People's Barber and Facebook, Rick, The People's Barber.